Hello again, everyone. So glad you dropped by today. We're working on a painting now for a good friend of ours, Mr. James Fisher, who actually edits our show and makes us look pretty good on there. <laughs> and we appreciate you, Jim, so much. But anyhow, and Jim does the filming. He does such a wonderful job of that. We'll paint one for Jim for long. Anyhow, come over to the board and I'll show you what we've been doing. We've been working on a, a mountain scene, and we actually just laid in a whole bunch of rock over here on this side. Probably what we will do uh, is put a lot of foliage, and I don't, I'm not sure what all we'll do in there yet. But anyhow, let me get rid of that little ugly mark there. Okay. <laughs> I picked up a small brush, <coughs> and the reason I have... I'd sort of like to put uh, a tree in here, maybe hanging over, but I don't want to cover the mountain because James loved the mountain so good. But anyhow, let's start out. Let's mix a little color. Take a little Van Dyke Brown. A little red. Probably more red. More red. All right. That's pretty close to what we want. We're going to grab a little yellow. Wow. Now we could do this with a uh, palette knife. Or we can do it with a brush. I think I'll put one tree right here. Zap. Now what I'm now you can do this with a little small brush if you want to, or you can do it with a brush like I have here. And I'm just making some limbs arbitrarily. Now, that's a start, isn't it? Now what I need to do, I tell you what, in order to speed it up a little bit, let me lay this brush down. Grab, let me grab my fan brush. <clears throat> now, this is going to be sort of a summer tree, so I'm going to use sap green. Maybe pull it into that brown a little bit. Let's see how that does. Now, I want foliage on this tree, but I don't want to cover all the beautiful mountains and stuff we got in there. I'm going to make that a little darker. I'm going to get a little paints gray in it. 
Okay. Plains gray, brown, and sap green. Pretty colors. Pretty colors. Now, Beautiful. Now I'm going to make a little darker area. Let me clean that brush a little. Sort of give it a little separation if we can. Okay, now I want a little highlight on the other side, so I'm going to clean that off. One little highlight. Let's get a little of that. Whatever. I like that. Beautiful. Now, I, I want a little more highlight. I'm going to have to do this, this, and this. Now, I'm mixing that in with my light green that I had. I'm hoping that'll do it. I'm trying to get my knife cleaned off a little bit. Let's see what that'll do. Whoops, need to wash it just a little more. Need to dry it a little bit. Go right straight into that color. That's a pretty color. Let's do up here first. Not much, but a little bit. I want some down here, of course. All right. Now what I might do on the shoreline here is put a little extra color in there. I like that, and I'm going to bring a little path in there, I think. Now I can do that with a uh, palette knife or with a little brush. 
We use the pellet knife a lot. Let's take a little brush. I'm putting a little uh, shoreline on it here where you can see a little bit of the, the grass growing out of the clay. Just to add color to it which it does. Have you ever wanted to learn how to paint? Do you love to draw and doodle, but would love to make yourself a better artist? Then click on over to earlroseart.com and check out the teaching DVDs. Earl will teach you step by step on how to be a better artist. Or you can browse the many items for sale in the shop, just like these. That's EarlRoseArt.com. Now, if you can see what I'm doing, I'm, I'm pushing the, the shoreline up. In other words, it's sort of a little ledge there. And I've done that just by taking my brush and curving it down, sort of like that. You see? It creates a little ledge. And over here, I want it to almost come straight into it. All of these little things add to your painting. And some of them are not really noticed until you get down and study them real close. I'm trying to clean that brush out a little bit. Let me just keep cleaning a little bit. Okay, I've got it. Okay, now getting back and looking at it, I, I think of what I want to do is add something in this area and maybe another, uh, let's add another, uh, let's say a, a, a stunt. We could add something here if you wanted to. Uh, we could put an old dead limb growing out of this. That might be a something attractive and then put some grass down in this area let's do that okay now I'm not sure I like that color but let me wipe that off for an old dead limb let's get a little of this white a little of that color right there. Now I want to tone it up just a little bit, so let's go over here. Okay. Mixing colors is a strange thing. 
And if you mix a lot of colors, you'll begin to realize if you mix enough colors together, you almost always get a gray. And that's about what we've got here is a gray. Uh, now I'm going to make this tree probably growing out of here. I don't know, maybe two or three. But let's take a little brush to do that with. Now I'm going to do a dark first. And the reason for that, of course, you know, is because it takes the dark to make the light look good. And probably just, this is a mixture in here of a Payne's Gray and uh, Van Dyke Brown. And I'm filling the brush completely up. I'm not sure how well that'll take because And you can just make these random any way you want to make them. It's up to you. What I'm doing with my tree here, I'm pointing it in. I'm actually making you look at, at this part of the painting. I'm going to get a little thinner there. What do you think? We probably put other stuff growing out of here too. Now I'm, I'm actually adding a whole lot of little tree stuff here. And all of them don't have to be dead. Some of them can be alive. Matter of fact, we may put leaves on some of those and maybe take our liner brush and make them a little smoother on out through there, which probably we should do. Okay. Now that little brush worked good for that. Now what we're going to do now, I want to add a little highlight. This probably a little brighter than I need for it to be. I'll show you a little trick here in a minute. I'm just making other things growing out of here.
actually now what I want to do is highlight just a little bit more on the edge Now I don't have to do these, all of these. Maybe just put a little bit here and there. I don't know if I like that dead or not. I well. Maybe I do. Now, what I would like to do is add some foliage in here, and I'm going to take my little liner brush, too, and I'll show you that right now. And I'm going to go into this color. I'm going to thin it real thin, about like ink. I'm going to roll it in there. Then I'm going to put my detail on these little trees. You see, that makes a, a lot of difference. Now, another thing, most, all trees have got hundreds of little branches on them. They, even if they're dead, they used to have. I'm going to get a little more thinner. A little more thinner. It has to be real thin or it won't uh, won't take. Now a lot of these You might not see until you look real close. Some of the main ones you made. Okay, where are we going? Let those go now.
Now, I'm just adding a few little lines over in this area. Now you can go up here and actually make your tree look a little bit better if you want to. You can add a few extra lines. And like I say, usually there's hundreds of them, these little limbs in there. I'm just adding them at, at random. And if you want a little more highlight on your tree, I got a little time left here. Let me do that. I want to show you something here real quick, if I got time. Let's, uh, I think I got plenty of time. Okay. Now, what I usually do on a lot of the uh, barns, trees, anything that's dark, You can go in and add on the dark side. I'll show you. In order to make it look round, see if I can get enough of this color in there. You can take some light blue. I usually like light blue, maybe with a little bit of a lizard crimson in it. And now I'm doing this one handed, so. And it gives you a highlight on the dark side. You see? We won't do a lot more of those, but and you put a lot of it on the front side, and you can do this right here. Make it look round. You can go around it like this. And and that gives you a, a round look to it. Oh my goodness. Time flies when you're having fun. We're going to have to leave you for today. Come back next week and we'll finish our little painting. Hey, I'm so glad you stopped by. Come back next week and be with us. We'll be looking forward to seeing you. Goodbye. God bless.